Hey guys, D Mike here for another episode of Pikmin 2. Last time, we got all the above ground treasures the Valley of Repose had to offer. And today, we're going to explore one of the two caves left over in the Valley of Repose. Let's go ahead and get started. The cave that we're going to be exploring today has, I think, eight floors. So we're going to need to get a little bit of boogie in our step. You'll understand when you see it. We're actually going to be visiting a familiar foe in today's journey. If you enjoy clearing out above ground treasures and making awesome amounts of progress in Pikmin, I would love it if you could like the video, comment and subscribe. Really appreciate all that. We're gonna go ahead and get some blues. We're gonna, not blues, that is purple. I don't know my colors. We're gonna get some purple, some white. We're gonna go ahead and get some blue. Pretty much just a good, uh, a good mixture of everybody. This cave that we're going into has a, um, kind of has a bit of a mis mishmash, I don't know if that's a word, of, uh, of obstacles. So we'll go ahead and get a little bit of everything. As you can tell, I'm always getting a little bit more of red because they're the ones that typically wind up getting turned into other things and we might be doing that in this cave. I don't quite remember, but yeah, you also have to be mindful of the fact that your uh, purples will probably wind up getting stuck on your way to the actual cave itself, which is a pain in the buns. So you have to take little moments where you just let them catch up. There they are. They had a little bit, uh, a little bit too much to drink on New Year's Eve. And so they're a little bit slow to catch up with the group. So we'll just make sure that we don't lose them. They're going to be very useful in this upcoming cavern. Trust me on this one. And thankfully, what's nice is because we did all the clearing out of the treasure last time, there shouldn't be more than a handful of enemies left over, which is pretty great. So we've got a lot of reds lagging behind, a lot of purple. Ah, guys. How does this even happen? A little hungover. Come on, let's go. I almost just want to keep the camera angle like this so I can keep a watchful eye on all my delinquent employees. Hopefully we'll find a way to replenish our stores of sprays in this dungeon because I don't have much going on. I was able to save the one spicy spray for my last involvement, but that's all I have. Oh, I said, I say, I say spicy and bitter spray the wrong way so many times. It was a bitter spray. Bitter spray obviously is the purple, spicy is the pink. So we'll let our dutiful employees clock in for the first time of the new year. And we will approach this cave. Our first exploration for 2023 in D-Mike Industries. Here we go. Okay, let's see what we have. The farthest reaches of exploring, yes. The farthest ground butthole around. This is, I believe, one of the longest caves in the entire game and it features every single possible enemy, so we'll see. Okay, welcome to the Frontier Cavern. Anybody else explored the Wild Frontiers? I have no muscle memory for this whatsoever, so this could possibly go really horribly. Also, I didn't mean one type of every enemy. What I meant to say is um, it has every single type of a uh, hazard. That's kind of the word I was looking for. First of which is, of course, mini bull borbs. Stop it. There is the... Oh boy. We got some furry bolt orbs here. I think that's what those are called. I don't know if there's any more of those little baby bull orbs hanging out in the little weeds here. Oh! Oh no. No, 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 no. Don't get poisoned. These, my friends, are uh, doodle bugs. Oh, you got one of my Pikmin. But you do want to hit them if you can, because when you do. When you whistle your Pikmin back to safety, and hopefully they're not dead in the process, they spit out a ton of, like, nectar and stuff. So, that's great. Minus the whole them trying to kill you part. Is there something hidden over here? This might be a hidden thing. Let's get my white Pikmin involved. Hopefully they didn't kill my white Pikmin. I only have five of them with me. There's... Hold on. One, two, four. Let me at him. Let me at him. Oh, it might have killed one of my white Pikmin. What a turd. That's rude. All right, well, now that it's visible, all my Pikmin should be able to 
gang up on it. What is that? I have no idea. Okay, guys. Very good. Want to be... Although it shouldn't have killed my white Pikmin because they're poison resistant, so I don't know... I'm not entirely sure how that happened. What exactly... Huh. Unless I'm just dumb and I, I just selected the wrong ones, that could be entirely true. But first... Treasure! Treasure! The essential furnishing. Kind of appropriate given the... Time of year. Do I have all five? No, I, it didn't. Wait, who did it kill? It killed a red? <gasps> How dare you? Alright, so... These are uh, hairy, bull, hairy bull borbs, I think. And they're kind of nasty, so... We're definitely going to want to, of course, focus on our purple Pikmin. There's two of them, so... Having your purples, obviously, to bombard it is the way to go. Always. So that's one. Oh, we stunned that bull board behind it. We killed your mom! Alright. Words to live by. And I want to just get this one in here and... A, oh, nope, nope, nope. Nope. Don't you do it. No, don't, no, 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 no! <laughs> no, you fools! Oh, no, he's eating my blues. No, 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 stop. Stun it! Oh my gosh, that went horribly. I'm already down nine Pikmin? Really? Oh boy, I don't think there's any, even any treasure with that. Hold on, there's little ones here. Kill the little babies! And kill the babies! All right, where is the treasure in here that I'm supposed to be getting? Where is it? Is it buried as well? Uh, wait, am I missing something? It's gotta be buried. Well, luckily I don't have any white Pikmin to help out. Great. Where are my white Pikmin? There you are. This is going swimmingly. All right. Um. Yeah, there we go. Two buried treasures in one one floor game. Really? Let me at him. Oh, there's another doodle bug. Stop trying to kill my Pikmin. You fart and fart master. I love that sound though. I love that. Get him. Get his farts. Ooh, he spit. He's. Sticks out spray. That's cool. Did I ever finish getting what the... Oh, I did not. Let me add him. Alright, we have another spray over here. Another bitter spray. Some more nectars. That's like six nectars. Wow, that's pretty good. Pretty good, viewers. Alright, so the second treasure... Whoa. Okay. Don't mind if I do. We have... I think that's it. Should just be the two. You know, you guys carry this back. Let's go ahead and declutter our atmosphere. Leave it better than you found it. This is cool looking. The essence of rage. Do you want to rage, viewers? All right, y'all can carry that a lot faster. Let's go. I've already lost, yeah, nine Pikmin, so we're doing great. Let's actually do a quick assessment of who we have left. Oh, I lost a purple. That's not good. All right. Um. Yeah. There will be a time in the not too distant future where you're going to want to be propagating a ton of purples. Just to forewarn you, but you can probably do that in easier ways. But anyway, on to floor two. Okay, welcome to floor numero dos. Okay. You're going to want to be careful in this one. Um, if I remember correctly, there are some baddies in here that are trouble. So, yes, here they are. Yes, so we've got the decorated cannon beetles here. These are the ones with the uh, magnetic rocks that can kill stuff. So there you go. Yes. We can use them to our advantage, actually, and have them kill these little spotted bull borbs. Boop. Oh, come on. That made contact. You guys saw it. They're going to want to fire away. Well, that, that didn't even touch me. Well, they can kill each other, actually, which is pretty cool. We like that. We'll actually probably have them do that. Come on. Ba -boop. Right in the bee hole. All right. So we'll have one fire rock into the other. Oof. That was a one hit kill. We'll have to kill this one. Actually, I don't know if I can steer its rock back into itself. 
Oh, you certainly can. Viewers, look at me. This cave is very festive. It's very, uh, very holiday themed. It's perfect. Now that the holidays are over and everybody has to sadly go back to work, myself included, but we're going to enjoy the last few dregs of our break that we're still sort of on. I don't know if anything is up here, but I'm going to explore. Probably not. This is probably just a, another way to get around. Around the outside, around the outside, around the outside. Okay, so no. Nothing special about this. But what we do have is... We're going to be careful here because we have... Um, we have little baby bull wards, and I want to kill all of them, but I also want to kill mom. So, yes. I'm going to try to come over here, actually. And not have my Pikmin go rogue and try to attack this one. Without my consent. Nope, 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 nope. Run away. Okay, good. So instead what I'm going to do is we're going to use the reds. Because I don't care if I lose these guys. But I do care if I lose the other kind. So we're going to have the reds come over here and murder the baby bull orbs. And then we just need to carry the, the leftover treasures. Of which there are many. So there you go. Looks like a nice little present. You're a nice little present, viewers. All right, you guys can... Why not? Let's just clean it all up. Let's just clean up our holiday mess that we've made. I don't think there's any, any, any other enemies here. Convenient. And then, yeah, that's it. We honestly can probably carry everything. I don't think it's worth it to do that, but, you know. I think these things only take eight. Ten. Seven. I can't count. Great. You can do that. All right, teamwork. And then I will move away from that because the radar binging is very annoying. As far as I know, it's just the two treasures. This is one, it's very cute. The icon of progress. I don't know what that has to do with the Christmas ornament, but whatever. We'll park the, park the truck right there. Okay. Look at this, beautifully wrapped. The joy receptacle. Do you like wrapping gifts, viewers? I don't. I really don't like it, I'm bad at it. Sometimes I run out of the right type of paper or I cut it the wrong way and then I just feel real stupid. Okay, very good. That's actually probably good enough. I don't need to do any of the rest of the stuff. Forget it, nope, 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 don't care. Do not care about any of that. That's enough murdering for now. We're not really into corpse collecting anyway. So there we go. I could have just switched back to Olimar, but I didn't think about it. Anyway, moving on. Okay, floor number three. Beautiful. All right, so as you can see, some different hazards here. Oh boy. That, uh... This thing's coming in hot. Whoa, 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 whoa. No. Stay away from me. I need my purples. I need to fire up my purples. Here we go. Let's run. Let's run. Stop it. We will murder you post haste. And because you're all. Get it. Get it. Get it. Okay, good. We lost one Pikmin. Ooh, what is this, viewers? What is this? Cheese. We do get a prize. I didn't realize that. That, uh, whatever those are called, that bull boar was gonna come in hot like that. But we have a another bulbman mother. Oh, yes. Prepare yourselves, viewers, for more bulbman. I totally forgot that these were in here. Yes. You can actually use your bulbman once again, if you remember. You can throw your bulbman to take out any sort of a hazard in the entire cave, they are immune to everything. So that's very handy. I'm actually going to do this. I'm going to split up the squad real quick and then have my Boldman team with the president. We're just going to go and clear out all these hazards real quick. Today, they're not very fast about it. Come on. We have time. We don't have time for this. We need to clear all these out and move along. Come on. Today. Yes. Beautiful. All right. That's good. I saw a dwarf bull borb over here. Two of them, in fact. 
How do they feel getting killed by their own kind? Murder it! Oh, don't eat my Boldman. Come on. There's like 17 of you. Get him. Okay, good enough. I actually don't even need to do that because you don't get anything from that, but... Is there something buried back here? Yes, there is. Of course there is. Whoa, and Nectar. Unfortunately, Boldman cannot uh, dig things up out of the ground. So we've got our flower Boldman. Very good. The weird lippy bulb orb thing. There's more electrical traps over here. And poison spouts. Looks like there is another treat over here. Some treasury treat. Yeah, I wish these guys were a little bit quicker. Can you carry this? Oh, there's only two of you that need to do that. All right. Well, nope, get out of the way, get out of the way. It'd be really horrible if bomb rocks could like explode your treasure. That'd make me really upset. Well, what is happening? Oh, there's another one. I didn't know that. Oh boy. Well, you guys took care of that on your own, I guess. I was not expect, okay. I did not know that was gonna happen. <laughs> This game is full of tricks. And full of me losing my Pikmin. Okay, great. Well, hopefully I at least have enough white Pikmin to get the hidden treasure. I'm going to be screwed. Um, there's this treasure here, which I will use two reds. Because I don't want to lose any valuable Pikmin. Do I have any? How many whites do I have? Okay, all my whites are intact. I keep losing purples, though, which is upsetting. We're gonna move around the outside real quick right here. I don't know if, if I could kill these guys really quickly. Let's stop eating my Pikmin, I'd love that. Stop it, stop it. All right, here we go. Moving along, and then there was the, um, there was something hidden. But wait, treasury treat. What is this? Candle, fleeting art form. For a second, I thought it was one of those rock candy things. Okay, so there's definitely something in here that you should have probably brought more whites, but that's okay. The ones I have will do the trick. And once again, if you remember, you don't need to have control of all of your Pikmin when they're getting treats out or treasure. You just need enough for them to be able to take it back. All right. And then, nope, nope, stop. Quit, stop, quit, stop, 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 stop. I wish the AI would stop instantly trying to just grab things that I don't tell them to do. It's one of my big old pet peeves. No, I don't want you to do that, in fact. I want you guys to quit doing that. Just because you can doesn't mean you should. That's a life lesson for everybody, viewers. Okay, and the president is not doing so great on health, so I actually need to probably be a little more mindful of that. Hopefully there's only two treasures in here. Okay, the gem star husband? Oh, that's a headband. All right, actually, I think they're, wait. There's something over there, or they wouldn't. I don't have, I do have a poison Pikmin. The white Pikmin. Why did I call it the poison Pikmin? All right, how about you get this? I actually kind of want, hold on. There is something fishy about this, and I, I need to investigate this. There are still Pikmin carrying corpses that I did not tell them to. Oh boy. We've got our Boldmen that are of course of infinite use, but there's something else around here, isn't there? Hold on. What's this way? Nothing, hold on. I am super confused. Huh. I don't feel like we fully explored this well enough, and that's why I'm a little confused. Hold on. Am I missing something? Is there a, a, a corner that I have not yet been in? Hold on. Is there something behind the... I don't see anything. You guys are really desperate to, to carry this stuff for some reason. I don't know. We've already made the debt counter. You don't need to really fix that. Okay. Well, I think we got everything. There's the geyser, there's the ground butthole, we have... 
I know that in some of these levels they spawn in like um like candy pop buds and stuff, so I just want to make sure I didn't miss anything. That looks pretty good. Okay, well, if that's the case, we can just whistle everybody off and we'll head down. You can pick your poison here though too. You can go down or you can go up. So if you want to give up like a little baby, do it. All right, here we go. Moving on. All right, sub level four. We are halfway through this crazy cave. Hopefully we'll be able to bolster up our Pikmin amount here shortly, and maybe we'll dispatch our Boldman to get us something else. Ooh, look at this. Speaking of, let's go ahead and get rid of reds and turn those into purples. This music is a little funky. You gotta be careful in some of these though. The game likes to be sneaky and they'll like toss like a bomb rock in these areas like jerks, but yes. Actually, probably should have done Boldman, but that's okay. If I run low on uh, Poison Pikmin, because I thought I was going to get some in that last floor. If I run low on Poison Pikmin, I, I want to have at least something to fight against some of the enemies. Oh, yeah, there's a ton of electro enemies. A ton. Thankfully, they're not really dangerous. They're just annoying. So, just to spare myself the frustration, I'll... Nope. I want my yellows, and I want my boltman. Get away from me, get away from me. And you. There's a lot of reds in this group that I did not intend. All right, and I think there's still one more. Yeah, all right, all right. Is there more than that? Hold on, let's check. Boltman, yellow, boltman, yellow, perfect. All right, here we go. So first things first, obviously, you're gonna wanna flip the anode beetle over and then you, uh, you dog pile on it. Dead. Same thing over here. Once again, if you remember, the anode beetles aren't really dangerous unless they can connect. And then we have the snitch bug, swooping snitch bugs, of course, who doesn't want to die. Hello, excuse you. All right, if I could have the rest of my Pikmin over here to murder it with me. Yes. I love... Whoa, he just shrugged me off. Uh, sir, I don't think so. I hate snitch bugs. They're probably my least favorite enemy. Or one of my least favorite enemies. Man, this one's been eating its Wheaties. And you can't really throw the... You can't really throw the Boldman very well, so... Oh, what is this one? Oh, is this one of the ones that does the... Oh, he does the captain stealing. Oh, boy. All right, well... Let's get some purples in here and get El Capitan rescued. Or El Presidente, I should say. Yeah, there you go. No match for purples. All right. So Olimar once again in the uh, yellows and Boldman. We have a lot of work to do. No. We're, sp we're screwing the squad up. I went for purity and I, and I messed up. I do like my purples, don't get me wrong, but that's not what I'm looking for here. Just yellows, just Boldman. You can actually have the, uh, the president come over here. If I can get them close enough to the anode beetle. That the purples will do quick, quick work of it. There's a lot of really annoying enemies in this dungeon that I've noticed. That's kind of the thing you'll have to deal with. And of course, the anode beetles, if you don't take them out the first time, they will uh, they will re regenerate, so you gotta deal with that. All right, so I've been ignoring, <laughs> ignoring the treasure that's right here. You just need one Pikmin. It's one of the, looks like a smaller marble, perhaps. We'll see how many treasures there are on this floor. Okay. This music is very funky though. It kind of feels like something you would write on like an old uh an old keyboard. Whatever you're into. Oh boy. All right, let's knock it over. No, 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 no. No, you dummy. You you big dumb dummy. 
Uh, one of my new purples just sacrificed itself. Not even for the good. Just, ugh. What is that on the bottom of that? The Omniscient Sphere. That's a marble. You're losing your marbles. All right. So there are a ton more of the, um, ton more of those beetles. Probably not super smart to go and use anything besides these guys. Get you out of here. And you, and you. All right, whatever. And there's a red in there too. I just really want to kill these guys. It's just kind of a matter of like, you, uh, you knock them over and then you swarm them and that kind of does the trick. Not super worried about anything else. I just want to make sure that I can knock them over fast enough that they can't create the circuit and kill me. The other enemies can't, I don't think they can actually physically kill me in terms of uh, what they're able to do. It's not really their MO. So, the, these are just the swooping captain bugs that are really annoying, and then there's one more anode beetle. It's so one thing that's kind of rough about some of these later dungeons is they're so long. Long and hard. And thankfully we're done with the perplexing pool, so there's no sea creatures. No long and hard full sea creatures. Alright, so... This is not going to work, unfortunately. Okay, great. Just gonna have to wiggle the... oof. Okay, that did a ton. Jeez. Let's get the purples ready and bombard these fools. Oh, yeah. You messed with the wrong captain today, jerk. Yeah, once you can kind of get them overwhelmed like that, they'll die. So that's convenient. We'll stay away from any of the electrical hazards. There's one last thing here. Wait, hold on. There might be... I'm not entirely sure if it's just the... um. Could just be these two. Yeah, it looks like these are the two that we're going for. We'll do this just to get some killing practice in while we're waiting. He's got the, the president. And we're missing this guy entirely. Ugh, come on. Well, that was uh, uneventful. Hold on. Let's get a purple fired up. Oh, and another one just sacrificed itself. It's a red, though. Frame rate is absolutely dying. Oh, he's got both the captains. Oh, no. This could be bad. What do we do? Okay. The innocence lost. I do like that all the, uh, all the, if you could just let me go, please. Ooh, just dogpiling on our, on our HP. Let's get the heck out of here. We've had enough. Yikes. All right. On to the next floor. Okay, moving along. Looks like this might be a recovery floor. Thank goodness. Looks like we have blue candy pop buds, some flower, oh, the butterflies. I think I might have wasted those. You might have had a small time limit to get them, but I did not. We'll use our bold men here. Oops. We'll sacrifice our boldmen to get more purples, maybe? Hold on. What is happening right now? Oh yeah, I forgot that we can just whistle the, uh... We can just whistle to pick stuff now, which is really great. Big fan of that. Okay. So it's more, uh, more purples. We're missing one Pikmin. I don't know what it is. We have blue. If we don't have enough blue, I think we do. And then we have more white. So there we go. I feel like we could probably use the reds again. Four, four reds and they'll do the trick. Yeah, we gotta be careful with our captains though. They are taking a beating, but there we go. And uh, that's a full squad except for one. I don't know. Oh, I did not pluck this purple. Oops, sorry. All right. So moving forward, we have some watery Dweevils, I think that's what these are. Hold on a second. No, I don't want a red. There is a red here, but I, I just want my my whites or my blue. Oh, I cannot talk. Oops. All right, we have a unique enemy here. These are called, I think these are mamudas or ma mamudas. How do you say that? Yeah, 
So these are things that are, um, they're not harmful to your Pikmin. They actually can't hurt you. What they will do though is, um, as you can see, they're kind of pounding into the ground a little bit. If you let them, they will, um, they will convert all of your Pikmin into flower Pikmin, which is pretty, pretty convenient. So once you kill the, uh, little watery spiders, you can have the Mamudas here help you out a little bit and uh, flower all your Pikmin. It's kind of a weird concept, I suppose, but yeah, they won't hurt you. So take advantage of that, I suppose. You can bring all your Pikmin in here and, uh, you know, eventually you will have to kill one of them, but don't have them be too attacky because you want them to let them slap your Pikmin around. Just give them the old slap. Not your, not your captive. Jeez. But one of them does have an item in it, so unfortunately you will have to kill it. I think we already killed one of them. This is this nectar, or is this going to be a, uh, a spray? Nectar, good. Yeah, we have a lot of new reds and whites that would benefit greatly from being smacked around a little bit, humbled, put in their place, if you know what I'm saying. So yeah, what's off your Pikmin? Let uh, the Mamudas go ahead and knock them around. You don't really gain anything from killing all of them, so maybe leave one alive if you can. And I think that's actually almost all of my Pikmin. And because we can just uh, use the pluck a phone to be careful here. Actually, I don't want any of my captains to die. So you, you actually do you do need to kill one of them. It does have a special item in it. Yes. Here we go. An atypical metal object from that bizarre being. It's an, an ancient work of art. Yeah, so this is a, um, this actually is a plot item. So you will want to grab it. Have your Pikmin carry that back really quick. And uh, yeah, make sure you pluck all your Pikmin. Of course, you don't want to leave them behind. No Pikmin left behind. But the pluck of phone makes that infinitely easier than it used to be. So very convenient. And I think that that should be the only thing that you need to really worry about. Have them take back the two items. Let's learn very quickly what this item is. The special treasure. Oh, ooh, the game does not like this very much. The brute knuckles. Okay. Humanoid fist. So there you go. Now we have a an additional attack. So whenever we hit the A button and we don't have any Pikmin with us, we can do a special attack. That's basically what it's telling you. Oh, that's the wrong way. We do not want to go that way. We would like to head to the bottom. Here we go. Yes, moving on. We're almost done. Okay. We are almost three quarters of the way done with this incredibly long cavern. We need to get... Ooh, we had some water dumples to get rid of. And I see up ahead... Nope. Nope. This is going to be annoying. Um, we've got cannon beetles here. Have them kill the dumples for us. That's convenient. Nope. Bop, bop. Come on, help me out. Yeah, it's like a one, two, three thing. Oof. Have that little rocket punch here that I'm just setting up Olimar and uh, the president for failure here. If I could take out this other water dump over here, I'd be super. Oh, there's so many of them. There's so many. Yeah, I'm going to try to have the cannon larva kill everything besides not the, not the boldmen. All right, I don't think it kills the boldmen that are uh, not attached to anything else. So whoop. we're going to go ahead and preserve the boldmen. This is going to be annoying having to hear this beeping the entire time. This is what I get for not being very smart. OK, so if I could lure this Cannon larvas rock back into itself. That'd be excellent. No, 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 no. Come on. Back away you go. Into yourself. Boop. I love that. That's one of my favorite things. Okay, and then there's two more. 
I cannot take out fire with my captain. There's two more of the cannon beetles over here, and I want them to kill each other. Come on. What's a little bit of friendly fire between... Fre I don't think they're friends. They probably don't know each other. Do you guys know each other? All right, so... No, stop it. Oh my gosh. I might just have to butt punch you a bunch. All right, come on. There you go. You're not facing the right... Okay. You're facing different ways. This should be good. This should be good. Come on. Kill your friend. Yes. All right. So one last one. If I could have lure the rock back into itself before it fires another. Okay. Ooh, there's another dump hole. I should have should have had to take a dump. Okay. Well, now actually what we can do is um, with our boldman that we just grabbed. Yes. Very good. Take out this fire spout, as I told you. I think there are actually only two, um, there's only two treasures in this one, one of which is right here. We have our 10 bold men. We have our 10 bold men. Hello. Okay. 10 bold men to go for that one. And then there's a lot of water in here. So I'm gonna gather the whole squad up, but I definitely don't want to, uh, I don't really plan to traverse a lot of it with the majority of them. I just want blues. Only blues, only blues, only blues. All right, my blues, my blues brothers, at least 10 of you, do I only have eight? Really? No, I didn't say purple. Just, oh my gosh, you are all horrible listeners. You're getting terrible performance reviews. I might just wind up using the Boldman again. Okay. The priceless statue. Looks like a uh, chess piece of some sort. Okay. Nope, that's a dead. That's a dead end. I've got a feeling the game is gonna like spawn something dumb on me, like a uh, like a bomb rock or something. I could definitely see it doing that. All right. So blues and boldmen, pretty much all you're gonna want for this. We have the other treasure, which if we can just sneak it past the dumb uh, dumple. The dumb dumple. Without getting seen. Come on, guys. Today. You don't really need to do any more killing. That's basically it. That's the one downside of this, uh, this level. Is there's just so much to do. Where is the exit? That's my... Let's sneak here. Ugh, okay. I think I just went around the outside unnecessarily, but that's okay. Don't you love that... That warning that... I'm dumb and I'm taking too much damage. I do love my Boldman, though. I don't know if we get any more... Ooh, game does not like this either. Okay. The Worthless Statue. I guess. Um, Sexist Game? Excuse me? Alright, where is the exit out of this dumb place? Did I see it on the map already and I just ignored it? Is it right next to where I started? It might be. Uh, it is. Wow. I'm a big old dummy. All right. Here we go. The penultimate floor. Okay, here we go. Floor seven of eight. We have a dwarf bulborb guarding a... Looks like a, a blah, blah, an ivory candy pot bud. So let's get some more white Pikmin. Let's go and use the Boldman for that. Bye, Boldman. Hopefully I didn't need to actually do um, any more like hazard destruction. Because that would be really dumb of me. All right, so. Oh boy, I got to finish this soon because this is getting on my nerves. All right. There's a bunch of, uh, a bunch of bull borbs over here. This is how we usually wind up losing Pikmin. So I'm gonna swap out. Uh, what? Purples. Purples. You're the ones I need most, and you're the ones who are like, uh, oh, we're just gonna wait over here. No. All right, I need to be very careful here, because I don't want to have to fight a bunch of, uh, bull borbs once this is done. Nope, come back. Nope. Oh, she's not dead. Oh, she's not dead. Mom's not dead. Mom's not dead. No, she is alive. All right, so we can come in here and just run train on these fools. 
One hit kills, of course. So much fun. Dead, you are all dead. Your life is extinguished by me. Oh, there's another big bo- oh, 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 whoa. Okay. Have to watch out for that. I can see the game being a big old trickster. I don't have a ton of Pikmin as it is, so I need to be careful. All right. And mama number two. Sister wives, perhaps. Murder her really quick. Whoa. Okay. I don't think there's any treasure back there. Looks like we're fine. Who are we? I don't know. I'm just proceeding very slowly because of this. <laughs> there's not really a whole... There's not really a big tell that that's going to happen. Okay. Oh, nope. Booster Pikmin are nimble enough. That Okay, and it doesn't attack the yellow ones, or the mini ones, of course. Okay, good. Good, good, good. There's something... We're getting closer to a treasure back here. Ooh, there it is. Maybe our, our white Pikmin can take it back so that we can speed up this process. They seem to be the ones that are good at scooting. Really? Game? Say, I have way more white Pikmin than that. Okay. Alright, a little bit more danger ahead. Oh, run, run out of the way. Oof. It's kind of hard to see where the um, hitbox is on that. It's like not super clear that it's like coming right overhead or not. I can't really tell. Oh, out of the way. Okay, good. And then we need to kill... One more Mama Pikmin. Bulborb, not Pikmin. Whenever I record these, sometimes I just lose track of what I'm trying to say. Sometimes, a lot of the time. Okay. Can I imagine there's probably gonna be falling rocks? No? Okay. I totally expected it to be, though. Classic game mechanic of trying to secretly murder me. Okay. This episode's gonna run long, but it hasn't really been too uneventful. This spouse, <laughs> this spouse alert. That's horrible, but funny. Ooh, does anybody know what this is? I remember playing back with these in the day on the playground. This was a big thing for me and my friends. We were really into these. Oops. Wow. That is one final screw you to the player. Holy smokes, that's mean. Yikes. Okay, I think this is it. I think it's just the two. Yeah. And then we are going to meet a familiar foe. This is taking way too long. Oh, I forgot to block one of my white pigment. Good thing I came back. It already was able to get into a uh, its bulb form, so that's cool. All right. And the final treasure, I believe, besides whatever the boss treasure is, the flame tiller. That's a yo-yo. Does anybody remember yo-yos? Does anybody remember finishing this cave? Because we're about to. Okay, here we are. The final cave floor of the Frontier Cavern. All right, so this one's gonna be pretty nasty, if I remember correctly. Um, as you can see here, we have a new type of enemy. These are uh, Bulbor Larva. And, uh... As you'll soon notice, they are unfortunately endless. They're being suspiciously farted out. You have to be careful with these things because they will kill your Pikmin. So you have to really throw your throw your Pikmin at them. You can't really like, oh you butthole. But they do turn into nectar when you kill them. So there's an endless supply of uh, of these things. We don't want them eating our Pikmin, so we're gonna we're gonna pretend that they don't exist. So we're gonna move around the outside here. Okay, you'll see in a moment where these uh, Pikmin are being, or where these things are being farted from. There we go. They do turn into nectar, which is nice. So make sure you grab it before they eat your Pikmin. Oh, <laughs> look at that face! It looks almost like a Muppet. It ate one of our white Pikmin, unfortunately, but that's okay. We have a, a ton of white Pikmin, we really need a ton. All right, so, no, 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 let's get out of here. 
I don't want them eating my Pikmin. Stop it. Stop it. No, stop. Stop fighting. I don't need you to fight these things. This is a really annoying fight that you have to be careful with because there's an endless supply of these stupid things. So what is best to do, if I could get my Pikmin to stop getting murdered, is they're going to be endlessly farted on by uh, Empress Bullblacks over here. So what you're going to want to do is hide some of your Pikmin over here and then use a captain to distract them. Have them come over here and be distracted by one of your captains. Can't use too much damage though, but you're going to want to distract them by coming over here. Constantly be just having the the larva endlessly coming at your uh, at Presidente here. And we're going to try to use the hopefully the few that don't come over here. We're going to need to use our purples to... Oh, that's not working. Oh boy, it's not working. I thought that was going to work. My, my plan is foiled. Yeah, they have an insatiable appetite. It's a pretty awful fight. But we need to get moving on this or else it's not going to work. We need to get a moving on the attack in here. All right. We need to pull back, pull back, pull back, pull back, pull back. We're going to probably lose a ton of Pikmin if we're not careful. More than we already have. We'll have her crush her babies. All right, good. And now that she's back. Oh, the president's dead. <laughs> I guess he got attacked too much by... Uh, I really wish I had a uh, better attacking Pikmin here, but I don't. I have to be mindful of these stupid things. No! Oh boy. That's a lot of the squad. Oh boy, it was meant to happen, or bound to happen eventually. No, don't fight it this way, you dummy. I just want to finish this level, please. This is all just pure chaos. Alright, alright, alright. With whatever I have left. This has been just misery. Yeah, crush your babies. Yeah, this is this is chaos. I just want to finish this off. I don't I know I lost a lot of Pikmin, but that's okay. Just finish her off, please. Oh my gosh, what a horrible fight. Did I lose even more when it crushed me that last time? Oh my gosh. Ugh. Yeah, that was horrible. But uh <laughs> outer stink limits have been approached. Looks like a kid shoe. Okay. No more, uh, yikes. Oh, there's still one larva left. Get out of here. No, that killed a ton of my purples, but we will have to, uh, replenish the squad. I might actually do that off, off camera. What is good to do occasionally is, um, there are, you can go back to other, um, you can go back to other earlier caves that have the uh, the types that I'm referring to, like purples and whites. Like you can go back to the emergence cave and stuff like that and populate some Pikmin. So I probably will spend a day off camera. Just grow. Am I, are we still getting eaten by larva? Are you kidding me? You guys just can't quit. You've already lost. Leave me alone. Well, there's even more Pikmin I lost. This is a record, that's for sure. Couldn't have just eaten my Boldman. Oh boy. The boss isn't going to be happy about this one, but that's okay. Like I said. We survived somehow. We killed the boss in tragic fashion. Yes. The, rep the repugnant appendage. All right, so we're going to be making some new boots. We have the Rush boots, which let us move a lot faster. Okay, no more Puffy Blowhog Blasts. I like that. And with losing 60 of my Pikmin, we can now get the heck out of here. Yikes. It was a tragedy, but it is what it is. I don't think I've ever had a Pikmin loss like that, but I also was not expecting all that to happen. But anyway, let's escape. Okay, so that should be a 76 Pikmin. Oh my goodness. Was it worth it? Who knows? 
Yeah, let's move along. Back to the Valley of Repose. Okay, um, I'm gonna go... <laughs> 23 Pikmin, yikes. I'm actually going to... I'm gonna put my purples back. The president is very dead. I'm gonna put most of my Pikmin back. Actually, I feel like I should probably grow the reds the most. I feel like I'm lacking in reds. Yeah, and yellows. So let's put the blues back. Take a few moments over here. I do know that there are the, uh, the various candy pop buds. So yeah, let's... Very quickly here. I lost a lot of whites too. Um, regrow some Pikmin. With the absolute, like, chaos that that was just now. Sorry, Mr. President. <laughs> he's very dead. End of the game, he's gone. So, first Captain Death, I think, and first uh, Massacre of Pikmin. But, I mean, we made it like 15 episodes in. That's pretty good. Obviously, I'm going to repopulate my purples when I get a chance to off screen. So the days and the episode numbers will not line up anymore. So just be mindful of that. Hopefully you all don't care because you don't get a choice. So sorry. But yeah, just repopulating your Pikmin. Always a good thing to do when you're running low on certain flavors of Pikmin. It'd be funny if you could put push it into like a different uh, onion if it wasn't going the way you wanted it to. But that's fine. We don't need a ton, I just wanted- I just felt bad about the fact that I just completely destroyed my squad here. So a little post-carnage recovery is the big flower. What do I need the most of? Red? Surprisingly, red. Alright, reds, get up there. Make it happen. Hurry up. And we'll get out of here and try to salvage the rest of the day. This is not a zero death run, I'll tell you that. Okay. See, look at that. We're already recovering. Already on the road to recovery. Okay. So hopefully that was the more difficult of the two caves. I don't know if it was or not, but we are getting the heck out of here and we're going to sunset. That's all for today. You could technically do both caverns if you want to, but I don't because that was horrible. I feel like both caverns are pretty tough. The next one might be a little bit longer, though. So. I am not excited. But there we go. That's all the treasures in the Frontier Cavern. A lot of Pikmin died today. Especially the ones that are important, like my purples, which is horrible. Horrible of uh, me to do all that, but I will be replenishing them off screen. Here we go. Oh, it's an even older Maybe the president's grandma or Louie's mom Louie we suddenly stopped hearing from you everything. Okay, if, if things get tough, you can always come home I'll stock up on those pick pick carrots you love. Oh, it's very nice All right, and that's it. So after the massacre, but successful cavern of the day I'll meet you guys again for more cavern exploring in the Valley of Repose, probably a few days advanced in the game so that way I can bolster up my crew again. Thanks for watching everybody, I've been D-Mike, this has been Pikmin 2, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!